Welcome to the Entertainment Rants Podcast, your number one opinion source for all things entertainment. Join host Marco Mazzola as he sounds off on the latest movies, TV, music, gaming, comic books, and more. Now, here's the man of the hour, Marco Mazzola. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Entertainment Rants Podcast. I'm your host, Marco Mazzola. I'm here with our co-host, Mila. Say hello. Hello. All right. Today, everybody, we are going to be talking about our episode two of What If. This is What If T'Challa Becomes Star-Lord Instead of Peter Quill. So uh, we watched the episode. Mila, you just watched the episode again. Yes. Yep. Uh, what did you think? Give me your overall take on it, then we'll get into some details. I, again, like the others, it's really cool to just see all these different ways things could come out. And I really like that they think through the whole thing. They don't just... Go, oh, T'Challa Star Lord. We're going to make him exactly like Peter Quill, just the, a different character with a different voice. But instead of doing that, they like, they change aspects that aren't thought of initially. Like, like the way T'Challa and Peter Quill like handle situations differently, it makes their names different. Like the way Peter Quill like, does things it's just as a ravenger and just for money so no one really hears of his name other than just a nuisance but t'challa the way he does things because the way he was raised through things he instead he's just an explorer who also has like just a different kind of personality that makes people want to like him and so He's able to change the Ravengers throughout time, and he's able to like change others. Even Thanos. That part was really funny. When um, Than like Thanos just pops up, I'm like, oh wow, okay. <laughs> I agree. It, it was definitely um, a great take on it. Um, I'm not sure if I liked it more or less. I'm probably gonna say I like the Captain Carter more. That episode more I, than this one? What yeah. do you think? I actually completely agree with that. Because although I did like this, I thought it was a really interesting take. The most interesting part about it for me was more the way Thanos, like what happened with Thanos rather than T'Challa. Because it, it kind of just, it didn't explore enough or there, there just wasn't enough substance there for me to really latch on to it as much. Because with Captain Carter, you still see, like, this World War II. It's, like, this struggle still. But it's still very kind of kind of close to it, like, but, like, different enough to just be still really interesting. But with this one, it was kind of like, oh, so he's just good. And just, like, that's kind of just it. Like, there's yeah. no other character flaw. Yeah, I agree. Because with yeah. others, there's a character flaw. There's no character flaw with T'Challa. There was absolutely no character flaw with Yeah, he was he was ever. just the perfect guy who can make friends with everybody and, yeah, and just and unifies just, the universe. Yeah, and just like just the good guy trademark. <laughs> exactly. <yeah. laughs> Copyright. Fantastic. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, I, I enjoyed it. I liked T'Challa's take on this one. Um, you know, it was weird seeing him, you know, not in Wakanda the whole time. Yeah. Um, but I did like his take on being around the universe and being able to sort of, you know, that Robin Hood or Robin Leech, as they say during the episode. Right. Uh, bringing everybody together. But, yeah, that was a strange take on it. I liked it, though. I, I did enjoy the episode. I've watched it about three times so far. Um, also, something I just want to bring up. I didn't really like that. I liked the idea of the collector being this like like mad powerful guy, like more powerful than th like almost as as or more powerful than Thanos. But I like he was able to destroy the Avengers. Yes, he had Hella, shield. But, he had Hela's helmet. He had Thor's hammer. Right. But um, he was beat in probably the span of 30 minutes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so I was like, well, then how did he, how was he able to do all of that then? Yeah. He took, he had um, Malik's um, dagger as well. That's the dagger he was using. So there's a lot of Easter eggs in this episode. Right. I think more so than the Captain Carter episode. They threw a lot of oh, this definitely. one. Oh, um, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. Because it's easy he, with the collector. He obviously <laughs> took out the Avengers where he has their, you know, trophies essentially. But, but yeah. he lost to like one guy yeah, who doesn't even have any powers. And, and, yeah, He's just and, like, and oh, I got a cool Yondu, necklace Yondu that becomes claws, I guess. So I thought that, yeah, I think you're right. You know, you watch. It was a little times. too easy. It was. It did seem a little too easy. Because even, yeah, because even with Captain Carter, 
What she did, she had to go into this portal to fight this giant squid for years. Yeah. Just trapped in it with the, for years, and it was hard. And then she comes out, like, like what was it? 70 years. 70 like years like later. Like yeah. This is like, oh, yeah, the collector. Yeah, no, he was... Like actually, one of the easier guys I've fought, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> even though he's break. supposed to be like the most powerful thing in the universe very at dangerous. the moment, like very dangerous. But yeah. like, you almost want to see, go back and see how did he take out the Avengers and all the other people that he had awarded the trophies? Because yeah. he didn't do it himself, right? Yeah, because because has... you're like, how did how did he's in his base layer too? Yeah. Like that should be the most defended and the yeah. most like hardest to get like a, even a, like get a scratch on him right in there. But it was like, he was like, oh, no, I've been trapped. Okay. It is interesting to see where everybody ends up. You know, one, oh that's my the gosh. point of it, one small change. That was where fascinating. Where gets picked up because Yondu has his people pick him up instead of him doing it himself. They pick up the wrong person. Right. Because the vibranium is underneath Wakanda. That's the energy source they picked up. Yeah. I think uh, so one of the most fascinating there. things with uh, was, um, what was it? Uh, Nebula. Mm-hmm. I loved to see that, like, because Thanos wasn't bad, or like went finally went to the straight path, like she was able to still because she did reference this in the movies. She had been like flesh and blood, mm-hmm. but was every time she lost a battle, she would have to get like a piece of her replaced with machine. Right. So seeing her as like an actual flesh and blood person, yeah, with a little bit of with a little bit, of, yeah, a little know, bit of mechanics here and there. Thing almost looks like seven of nine from Star Trek Voyage. It does, yeah, uh, that's what I was thinking of. of that, <laughs> um, but yeah, and she's got the blonde hair, which is actually a comic book reference. Um, and oh, doing, is it? Yeah, and doing some research, there was just a storyline where she is, and she has the blonde hair, and it actually she turns out to be um, Ravana mm-hmm. Renslayer. So she's Ooh. in the. Um, uh, what do you call it? The uh, now I'm blanking. She's um, one of uh, oh boy, <laughs> now I'm stopping. Um, uh, the, the new villain Take for the time. Marvel universe, um, whose name now I'm completely just. Who's the new villain coming from Marvel universe? Hmm. Is uh, oh Kang. Thank you. Wow, that oh. was weird. Yeah, Kang, no, that wasn't going to get me. So Kang the Destroyer and his multiple Kangs across the universe, across the multiverse, and so Ravana and actually infiltrates. It becomes a Kang, if you will, to disguise, and so it looks like it's Nebula doing it. it turns out to be Ravana. It's a whole long thing. Ah. Um, but that's where they pulled that storyline. So there's a lot of storylines pulled into this one small episode. Yeah, they reference a lot of Marvel history really quickly, like when they're in mm. the bar talking about their exploits and things like that yeah um, some of it's from the movie some of it's from the comic so that was really cool yeah i thought that was really interesting like yeah. when you would tell me about like which part was actually a thing that came yeah. from the comics yeah especially with um what was her name the girl the pink girl with the silver oh what's her name she, so she's like the, the, she's collector's, the collector's right hand yeah gal slave really basically <laughs> slave yeah and then you, you hear within the storyline that how they basically armed her you know saved her planet from becoming destroyed or being slaved so yeah but she was uh, yeah. and that's why she does what she does and she saves t'challa in the end and takes down the collector for him right. she shoots him from behind because yeah. she realizes that he doesn't want people in you know to be slaves yeah. and that's what happened to her people yeah. but that he uh, ended up helping them and if so, you know that if you get the reference reference to that that's like it's such a cool scene but if you don't get the reference like i did i was kind of like uh why did he him saying people shouldn't be cages like why was it any different than something that literally thousands of other people in that place in cages might right. have said exactly because he and, was the one who helped yeah her planet and that made so that, much so. more sense and i was like, oh yeah. wow she ends up in turn saving him and that that is an issue like in terms of when you're doing so much lore or backstory yeah you know, you're gonna leave some people out some people yeah. don't know the backstory or know the lore or know the comic book history as in-depth as other people do. And I know some. I don't know all of it, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, who you can. know quite a bit, though. I do know quite <laughs> a bit, sure. Um, so that does help and adds mm-hmm. a little bit more nuance, a little bit more flavor to the episodes. But I think still enjoyable, even if you don't. You can yeah. kind of take it at face value and understand what's going on. But some things might get lost just yeah. like that. So that yeah. that's always. But it was still cool that. anyway to it's see. It's still cool. It's definitely cool, and you can identify most of the weapons that were in the case, but you might not know all the references that are right. There. So and yeah, I, I I love a good reference to things like comics or like 
or like previous things that might not be referenced to normally. Mm-hmm. Like, but that was really cool. I also loved the scene with Howard the Duck because yep. they keep they keep playing with it. They keep going, oh, we might bring Howard the Duck. We might he might get a movie. He might get a show. Him, I know. But they Hopefully keep teasing him. I, I actually I actually like him as just a tease every once in a while. Yes. Rather than actually getting his own movie. Because what would happen again? Obviously, the first movie was a, a it bomb. was atrocious. Although I watch it. I have to understand. You know, I come from the 80s. I, I watch that movie, and I'll still watch it. It's still a bad movie. Just because I watch it doesn't make it a good movie. Yeah, but, but you I can't watch You can't it. just hate a movie it, like it's that. It's kind of like a train wreck. You gotta. You can't turn away. You yeah. have to look at it. Um, so I, I do love watch a good it cheesy it, movie like that, where you're it's, like, wow, this is guilty, this is awful. I could watch it again. Pleasure, bad B movie. Yeah. <laughs> That almost took down like the director and you know yeah. Marvel's and, and first Steve go Spielberg at movies and, yeah, was, was that one it was of bad. all the movies, uh, but not definitely different. Much of a different take on him in this movie, yeah, uh, in the last one. So it's good to see. Yeah, I don't know if he'd hold up in his own movie. We may get to see that, or yeah. just or they may. Who knows? They might make a Disney Plus out of it at some point. Yeah. Maybe maybe a show. Yeah. I don't know about a movie, but maybe a show yeah. or maybe a big part in a different movie or right. a different show. Yes. I, I don't know. I, I would find it interesting if they did manage to give him his own show or something. Yeah. I mean, but I I think he might the, be better yeah. as like a, a plus one or something. Yeah. With Disney Plus, the options are endless, right? They can keep oh, doing definitely. them. And they will keep doing them to keep making content for that channel. Right. But, uh, we'll, you know, the future They have to now. Is, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they will see after all the new subscribers they have. But, uh, okay, so the other references you might see in there when, he, when Chachala goes into the – basically with all the ships, all the, the, the spaceships are. Right. Obviously, we see yeah. the Condon spaceship. We see Peter Quill's yeah. actual yep. Avenger ship. We see ship. the Nova Corps. We see the Nova Corps ship. ship. We see the Quantum ship. I still hope they do something with the Nova Corps. I think. Yeah, they, Nova. Yeah, they have to. They have to bring it. Because I. Because that Nova was one of the. Like one of the few. I've only like read a few comic series. One of the comic series that I read was Nova. Mm-hmm. So I like 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 I've read like Nova, Daredevil. And Iron Fist, pretty much. But I would be so stoked if they actually did something with Nova. But they kind of just kind of left it behind. Yes. They just they introduced the Nova Core and then just kind of like then destroyed, destroyed the them Nova, all. Destroyed so I'm the like, Nova Core. but you still could get something because oh, in the Nova, a, yeah, it doesn't like, mean they're all sitting there yeah. on the planet to get destroyed. Yeah, Obviously, and in Core, the Nova they're, comics, they're, yeah, yeah, there's like there is a storyline where the Nova Core has been destroyed and there's only one left, and I'm like. Eh, it could still Nova. happen. It's, it's Nova. Nova so. Yeah, that would be fantastic. I, I mean, it will happen at some point. Obviously, they're going to keep bringing Probably in the characters and stuff like that. Probably very far down the line, though. Well, we'll see. You know, we're still yeah. waiting on Adam Warlock. We're still waiting on a lot of different characters. Oh, right, yeah. To come in. You know, there's a lot of news going on right now. I know we're getting off topic from What If, but there's a lot of news coming up as to what the new stuff is coming out. Uh, we know that Ironheart is going to make an appearance in uh, Black Panther 2. Ironheart. Uh, it, it's going to be her. We're not sure that she'll be in the Ironheart, you know, in the Iron Man Ooh, costume. Who's Ironheart? Um, uh, her name, I have to look it up for you um, while I'm talking. I'll look it up. But she, um, th- there was some articles on that, uh, that she's going to be coming into the next, uh, like I said, into the next uh, Black Panther movie. We'll see what uh, comes of it and what she's going to do. Um, let's see if I get her name, her official name on this on this one. Um, let me just keep looking up here. I know it's kind of dead air, but that's all right. We'll be fine. Um, I'm going to keep going to this one. So she's going to be in it. The other the other people they're talking about for just that movie alone might be um, Namor as well. Namor. Yeah, the Submariner. Who was the original? That sounds familiar. He's the, the original. He's the original mutant, if you will. Ah, um, black hair. He's got the little wings on his ankles, things like that. So he's the guy who. Ooh. He's he's Marvel's Aquaman, essentially. Oh, of course. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> uh, Riri Williams. Riri Williams is the name. <gasps> Wait. Who, who plays? I know uh, Riri Williams. Yeah, she plays the Iron Heart. So oh, she that's takes cool. Over for Iron Man. She's basically like a genius who works at you know who, who goes to MIT. Right. That's her backstory, and that's where you know like Tony meets her, and so she basically makes her own Iron Man suit because she's <gasps> a genius, oh. and he helps to fund it. He helps to help her out and become Iron Heart. <gasps> oh yeah. yeah oh so Iron Heart. Cool. No, so I know Iron Heart now. So they're they're gonna introduce her again. Oh, that's they're not, gonna be nobody so Nobody knows cool. if they're gonna be she's gonna be in costume or it's just gonna be kinda her because there is parts of it being shot 
soon, if I'm not mistaken, at MIT in Boston. Oh! Um, she's shooting. So, wow. Yeah, so we'll probably see her in, in MIT, maybe a beginnings of it, who knows, you know, introduction. And then mm-hmm. she'll have, um, I think she's doing, she's going to be a movie, or they they're making a Disney Plus series about her, I believe. So a lot of it's coming out Disney Plus, which I like. You know, they understand yeah. that some of it is, can't do maybe a whole movie, but a Disney yeah. Plus episode show for like, you know, 10 episodes or whatever it is, is a perfect way to introduce these characters and then and, and see right. if they can be like in, but they might be, you know, in part of the event, next Avengers movie. Yeah. And I mean? some, some characters might need a show rather than a movie because in, in a movie, sometimes it's not the best for a character because there's only so much you can put in a movie. Right. But with a show, yeah, you can really expand upon characters. You can, like the, the She-Hulk. I'm really looking forward to She-Hulk. Oh um, my gosh, super yeah. Super looking forward to Moon Knight. I think that's going to be a great <gasps> Oh, I'm so excited for Moon Knight. I, I think I saw, I don't know if it was a mock, it's supposed to be a real version of the costume or a teaser of it. Wasn't super crazy about it, but you never know. I haven't seen you, it yet. You can't trust on the internet if it's a fake one, if yeah. it's real sometimes. Um, You'll just have to wait until the trailer comes wait, out, just really. wait until the trailer comes out. Or a genuine, like, actual teaser. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So, okay, so back to What If. Um, this is episode two. Getting back on topic. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. This is what this whole podcast is about. We're going to keep geeking out on different things that we like, and one thing will lead into another, and that's totally fine. Yeah. Um, what was your overall, what would you take away from it? Are you looking forward to the next episode? I am. Next week. Um, next episode, I'm going to look that one up because I, I had it at the top of my head and now I forgot what the next episode is about. But what's your overall take for this episode? I, I liked it a little bit less than the first one. But I, all in all, I found it actually really, like, really enjoyable. Ooh. Something to bring up. I really liked that end scene with Peter Quill and yes. Um, Ego. Yes. Because that's something that I... It was in the back of my mind, but it wasn't too much in the forefront. Mm-hmm. But it's so interesting because Peter Quill, the reason he didn't like go with like really sell into Ego's thing is because he had like his ragtag band of like brothers right, you ravengers, know yeah, the ravengers and then it's like rocket and drax and gamora and they were able to like pull him back mm-hmm. like like because they gave him that moral stability right of but like without that he's just he's got nothing yeah. like he's he's a dude he's, working at dairy queen yeah he's a dude working at dairy queen his mom passed away when he was a kid and his father's Which nowhere is the dairy like, queen we see in the movie by the way as if you, the reference is back to the dairy queen and it's also the dairy queen that ego took peter's mother to is it and really it's yeah, a it's a call wow see him in the dairy queen yeah yeah but yeah without that like stability then he's like, of course he would accept Ego's like offer, sure, because he's got nothing else other than some subpar job at Dairy Queen. Right, <laughs> that's all he has, probably. Absolutely. So, and he doesn't know that he is part celestial, basically. Yeah. So finding out he's that. like basically a god mm-hmm. in some ways. Yeah. Instead, like he would gladly take that rather than just working exactly. at Dairy Queen the rest of his life. So that'll be an interesting, you know, take on. We'll we'll see what happens yeah. if they do that in season two. That's I hope. I two. really hope they bring that back because yeah. that would be really interesting yeah. to bring so back. So the next episode is uh, episode three. It's what if Loki presented himself to the governments of Earth as king of ours, Asgard, using all his diplomacy. That's coming right from IMDb. <sighs> Oh, so we'll take on that. instead so of just kind of dropping down and going, Neil. Yeah, Neil, I'm taking you over. <laughs> and everyone goes, hi, what? Head. That doesn't make any sense. Right. Wait, so like he uses diplomacy instead of like Just force? try to take over. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Almost like he's on the government's side. Versus Ooh, the I think, I actually think that'd be, well, all of these I've been like, ooh, this seems interesting. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> wow. So, so my question then is, it's a Loki episode. We just got done uh, with yeah, Loki. Yeah, I'm like, we like, just got Loki. There's only so many, so like, I'm looking forward to it, and I'm like, I love Loki, but do we need another Loki? Although... We just had the whole Loki series. Yeah. He's been in so many of the Marvel movies. Like, yeah. are we getting Loki <laughs> like, out? Please. <laughs> is, it, is it voiced by Tom Hiddleston? Uh, it doesn't say yet, but I think... I want to say I think so. I'm like he's but, still he's still kind of he's yeah, just no, he's fresh off it. the he, role. He's like he's got to still be, be there, right? It's, it's just a scheduling issue mostly, which I found out for most of the people that didn't voice their characters in What If. It's mostly a scheduling issue. Yeah, um, they're doing different things or off doing different things. Uh, same with Tom Holland and then Chris Evans. You know his contract was up, so right. to do one more thing would have to bring bring in another whole contract. So they didn't bring in Chris Evans for to do Cap. Right, um, but most of the character actors, most of the actors are there doing it. So yeah, so yeah, that's. 
I, but the thing is, since they've shown so much in Loki that there's so many different possibilities, yes, it's still another possibility that can be opened up. Oh yeah. So it's just like it's just a little like a bone to throw. Like hey, here's one of the things that might have happened. Because <laughs> you've heard you've heard a bunch of things are like Loki'd out. You know yeah. I mean? And he's such a favorite Care fan yeah. favorite, but like we've had so much. And it, mm-hmm. to me, it's always that with any show that does this, you have so many episodes. Don't, you know, not say waste. This is definitely not Loki. It's not a waste. But, like, don't, yeah. why are we using Loki again when you could use so many? I always hearken it back to because then say, you the can Batman have more movies. Seasons. <laughs> I always hearken it back to the Batman movies. But, like, you keep showing the Joker. You keep using the same couple of villains in Batman. Like yeah, Spider-Man. I get, sometimes I get sick of that as right. well. These characters it's like Batman like, and Spider-Man it's like, have the two biggest rogues galleries yeah. in all of comics. Yet you right. keep using the yeah. same Because they love, they love the response that it gets from people. But the thing is, if you keep reusing it, you're going to kind of get sick of it. Sure. How many Jokers yeah. do we need? Yeah. You know, I think I also talked it. about this in the Doctor Who podcast. Like, like there's only, like, once you find a good villain, like the Daleks or the, like the, the Weeping Angels, yeah. if you keep reusing it, people are going to get kind of sick of it. And people are going to run out of ideas to do with them. So they'll sure. just throw them in there for, like, Well, that's it. The writing starts to get weaker on it because how yeah. many different ways can you bring the same character back? Right. And the same character has a set of rules in which yeah. you've built into their universe. Yeah. And now so you're, bringing yeah, back you Loki, those like, rules. You have to stretch those rules and change the rules you've made up yeah. to bring them back again, and it just starts to seem like lazy writing or bad writing. It's I call it the Martha effect, hmm. right? We all know what that means in Batman, Martha, Martha. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. way Superman and Batman stop fighting is because yeah, like, name Martha. My mom's it's name Martha. Really, really oh, my weak. gosh, you're right. Super. This completely removes all of my moral bad things yeah, I have about super. you. And not even just moral <laughs> bad. Like, I'm just really angry with you when I want to fight and kill you, but our mom's name is Martha, so I'll stop. That just that was just that incredibly was I lazy hated that writing. so super much. lazy writing. So that's what I call that. Um, all right, there you go. So mm-hmm. that's it. That's our take on what if episode two. We're really excited to see episode three. Yeah. Uh, if you guys have any questions for us or like to engage with us and let us know what you thought about the episode, uh, you can hit us up on any of our. Um, Social media, we're at Entertainment Rants, and on Twitter, we're at Entertain Rants. You can also go to our website at entertainmentrants.com uh, and send us a letter there. Uh, we're always looking for, like I said, we're always looking for guest hosts if you want to, you know, talk about something that you're passionate about. Uh, we're going to continue to post new and th- different things. Um, we're starting to post some pop figure collection stuff, so we'll have to do a pop figure episode as well. So, to talk about collecting. Yeah. I have some other guest hosts coming up soon, mm. um, so that'll be really cool. We're about to going to record another episode right, right now about Harry Potter. So look forward to that in the next couple of weeks. All right. Uh, We look forward to hearing from you guys. If you feel free to write us a review, if you'd like to, we'd really appreciate that on Apple or Stitcher or any one of the podcast platforms that accept reviews. We'd really appreciate that. It'd take, you know, 30, 90 seconds just to write us a review. That'd be awesome. And we'll definitely try to read it on one of the podcasts if you do. All All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mila, as always. And thank you for having me. Awesome. And we'll see you guys soon. Let's just keep ranting, everybody.